What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko here with Rishab. What's good? And uh, he went X1 today at our sneak peek event. And it was two elements, but it was updated with the new stuff from Darkwing Blast. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm gonna let you take over. So essentially what happened before the tournament was I was playing Lunatear coming in, but then um, Tony lent me the Rukalos, the new fusion, and then I told him, I was like, if I pull the Cartesia, I'm gonna play the new build. First pack I pulled Cartesia, so I'm like, all right, spent like um, 10 minutes putting this deck together and then yeah, one X one. Yeah, so uh, congratulations on that, first of all. Thanks. And uh, do you wanna get right into it? Yeah, sure, sure. All right. So I'll go through the tier cards first. So I wanna explain these because these are all standard at this point. Um, three, 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 two. I think two is right because we're playing um, a supplementary engine here. Then um, the two Solik and then the two new card. I played two copies of Scream. Um, I don't know if this will stay at two. It might go down to one, or I, I, I don't know if it will see play. Uh, you run an OCG, but OCG also has the Ishizu cards. Yep. The one nice part about this was um, anytime this was milled, this just acted as two more copies of Solid. So anytime this is sent to grave by card effect, I just switched Salt Lake to hand, and then you know I just went off from there. So then in turn didn't feel too bad of uh, searching Merly off of Kate Kalos, mostly because mill eight, dump this, search this. Yeah, so it makes it so that you don't have to always search the Sulik off the kit. Yeah, precisely. Okay. It's it's nice. It ends up being very nice, and then it lets you be a little greedy in terms of going into Alf and one more card. Yep. Then um, I still play Dangerous. Uh, three Nessie, one Bigfoot. Suchi Noko, Jackalope, Mothman. Um, I hate Mothman, honestly. Really? So, sorry. I, I just, I don't like this because you have more and more players playing tier now, and you have more and more players just, um, it somewhat benefits Sprite for getting a two in grave. Yeah. Somewhat very, it, you can risk it against Sprite, but against tier, it's just, I've been punished every single time I've used this effect in a mirror match. Um, and then the one card I run that I've seen ran and not ran is Bigfoot. I just really like Bigfoot. Because, I personally like Bigfoot yeah. too. Bigfoot, um, activating Super Ball or Twin Twister and discarding Bigfoot is one of the most um, satisfying things like I've ever done with this deck. Uh, so that's dangerous. Then, so this is the new I, stuff. Yeah. So I played a very small um, bestial package. Um, shout out to Svanko for lending me the Magnemite and um, Druid Worm. Uh, yes, sir. I barely open these. Um, however, these were really useful for a combo I'll show very shortly. Um, how these cards used against me, they're broken. They're, yeah. honestly, they're honestly really broken. And this card is just, oh my gosh. Did you play yet. any mirror matches? I did. Um, I played one mirror. Sorry, sorry, not, it was someone in a mirror, Brent Tier. Um, oh, okay. I did not open this at all. At all. I, um, I had this summon against me almost every single round. And it was just oh. cracked when people like summon this card. Would you up the ratios of these in the future or? I want to say so. I want to yeah? say so. Like um, uh, maybe this to three or this to two. Um, the one issue I do find though is the more you up these, the more, um, cause these are almost pseudo hand traps in a way similar to Happiness. So it's just like, but at the same time they rely on you playing against um, dark or light reliant decks. So over here it worked out uh, because they were, you know. We play um, a lot of meta here. Yeah. yeah. but. At the same time, if you're up against Rogue or some like Fundries or you know Speed Rides, it's, it's not gonna do anything. It's actually not gonna do anything. Yeah, that's true. Um, but good cards, very good cards, and thank you for lending them. The one Zephyros, uh, this is one of. I think I might cut it. Um, then for a new engine or new cards, uh, well, this is being ran before with a uh, D3S Frog. Yeah. Um, one Albion and then uh, MVP. So this MVP is a, this is a new tournament. card. Yeah. So. My biggest reason for running this is I just really, really like making Baron, and this yeah, and you just wanted to rush Baron. Yeah, this this facilitates Baron so easy, um, easily. One of the most broken parts about this was um, draw phase, Brandon High Spirits, um, reveal a tier, um, send DPS. dump the um, Rue Kalos, oh. and then uh, search um, search the Cartesia off of it, and then if I. Uh, you'll be milling around 11, maybe more if you have Scream. That's crazy. Uh, and then if you get Albion engraved, essentially what you do is you just special summon Cartesia out. Otherwise, you just normal summon Cartesia out because the only other normal spot in this deck is um, Rhino. Rhino or worst case scenario, Merly. But if you have to normal Merly, it's a bad time. And then, you know, you make Garura, Garura and Cartesia into um, Barone under, you, you know, a zone elf points to and then just broken. Oh, and it's really good because then you can play under Nib. Yeah. Or play through Nib, I should yeah, say. Yeah, precisely. Because then you'll have um, Blue Kalos face up for the Nib. And then, you know, at that point, you'll make um, Barone as well. Yeah. So then you have uh, Waiting to Get Special Summons and you have uh, just 
so Omni to get on the field. And then one of the nice parts about this card is um, during the end phase, if a fusion monster was sent to grave, you can add this card back to hand. So then, oh. yeah, you know, it, it serves as a discard outlet. Uh, in um, it's similar to what people are doing with uh, um, Sword Soul Ecclesia, and also I, I think back in gold format with um, what's that card? The Serpent Dragon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah, serpent. Uh, yeah, sinister. Sinister serpent. Yeah, yeah. so it's just you, you know, nice because discard outlet. Um, I'm pretty sure you can cut this now. I just really like drawing one. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it in. I will have to test because once again, the, this was this entire list was put together in like ten minutes. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, hey, it worked out. This really broken card. Yeah. Really, really broken card. And then um, one Destrudo, of course. Uh, Foolish Brother Goods, just to dump Scream and search out the Tear Elements. Um, uh, Soliac. Yeah. Droplets because you're terrified of cards like Dweller and like the Foundries as well. Instant Fusion, Terraforming, Galaxy Cyclone, just Mine. A power card, yeah. Um. I think you might cut this, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there's high rate draw, there are other techs you could play as well. Um, going to the extra deck, so because this is more pure and not Luna, um, you bump kick Kalos up to two. Uh, one Kaleido, one Rue Kalos. You really only need one of this, you should be able to um, cycle through it, uh, assuming you're cycling your tiers correctly. And then you have the standard fusion ratios as well. Yep. Um, Card's good. I had it banished when I banished High Spirits uh, round one. Uh, it, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I, I still played without it, and I was yep. perfectly fine. Baron, I love this card. Um, Dweller for the mirror match. I did. It, I didn't make it today. Still good card. Um, Sprite off, and then new inclusion of Sprint. Yeah. Um, so how was Sprint? I had a uh, tier matchup in my round one, and yeah. Sprint was kind of nuts. I, I like Sprint a lot. So in uh, in my first round, when um, this got banished, uh, it, essentially once we got closer towards late game, uh, what I effectively ended up doing was I summoned Elf, Elf revived, um, brought out Sprint, Sprint dumped uh, Merly, and then that's when I just went into um, kick Kalos into, I believe it was Rule Kalos, and then I just pushed for a game. Uh, the one nice part about Sprint is um, the more Xyz monsters you start running, um, you get the, the second better, effect off. Yeah, yeah, which is the Omni Negate, which it just ends up being really, really nice. Uh, I right. guess Mothman also helps make the Dweller, right? Yeah. yeah, it does. And sorry, my apologies. Not the Omni Negate, but the bounce back. Yeah, like yeah the bounce with Spring. Yeah. Um, I, I do think I, I might want to try fitting in more Xyz monsters. Um, and it's pretty tight, nice. Though. Yeah, it ends up being pretty tight, and I do want to test around with the sprite package because um, the sprite package was really good. And really, the only thing I lost to today was just uh, extra sisters, and that was primarily because Necro Valley and Mystic Mine. Yeah, yeah. So you know, not much I could have done there, but I want to find a way just to make that matchup not as one-sided as possible. And then you just had the standard Dark, Curious, Griffin, and Apalusa. Um might be able to cut this. Uh, I, I found it. I found it very useful today. Um, I don't know if I'll remove it. Uh, I used it to set a solid to the board, and more importantly, it's just um, in the matchup I made it. I made it against heroes. So essentially, what my board was was um, this with Soliac and Droplet set. So hero lives. I let that through. When he went for the Bion, I stopped it with Real Kalos, yeah. and then. Um, Griffin just effectively shut off everything else he was doing, and then I had um, Droplet and Solik for the negates as well. So Griffin as a pseudo floodgate is still really, really nice. I have a question. Why yeah. no Eradicator? Um, so the reason I had no Eradicator in this build is because coming into the tournament, I was playing Lunatier, and when, oh, like you just game, didn't have it on you when you yeah, just okay. So, there so I had the um, I had the spellcaster in there. And okay, it's yeah. like you can't make it as easily in this because you're not playing. Well, you can't make it because you're not playing. Um, the Dugaris. Yeah. Uh, I might put the Eradicator back in. The one issue with the Eradicator, however, is your only two targets for it are one and two. Yeah. Now, in hindsight, that shouldn't be too bad because, you know, these are pretty very easy, to, easy make. to make. And then um, backed up with this and uh, just the new cards as well. It's just, you know, phenomenal. That makes um, sense. One thing I do want to test and uh, mess around with is putting Crime back into the deck. Okay. Because, you, you know, um, because the BCO cards are more popular now, it just makes more sense to play the Crime because they'll be using this to oftentimes just banish your tier monsters. So if Crime goes to grave, you can just add them back to hand or even extra deck if they banish uh, Rue Kalos or Kaleido Heart. Or yeah, if they banish like uh, Rue Kalos or, or Kaleido. A, well, or sorry, sorry. They Kick won't Kalos. be banishing Rue Kalos, but if they banish Kaleido or Kick Kalos, you can yeah. just shuffle it back, which is really, really nice. And then. Um, 
Going to the side, the side deck's still pretty standard. Uh, Gamma, the driver. Gamma's just good going Insane. second. Um, oh, I already saw what that next one. This is. So mark, it's so techie, bro. Duster. <laughs> um, Super Poly, Twin Twister, and Evenly. Uh, the, the one thing. The one, thing, the one deck I've, uh, I've always hated playing is backer decks, and backer decks like genuinely terrified me. More so now that um, Red Reboot is back. gone, yeah. And uh, also just with um, Twin, or sorry, with Mystic Mind running around, it's just I, I want as many outs to it as possible because your in engine is just going to deal with the rest of it, right? Yeah. But initially, just dealing with that first mine is just annoying. And then once again with Bigfoot, Twin Twister and Super Poly, just insane, so amazing, breaks so result. many boards. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you stop maining this because it's not that good in the mirror match, right? Yeah, precisely. Because you have um, you have an abundance of tier players now. Yeah. So it's just like in the mirror match, um, this isn't going to put in as much work as it was before because you, you have people playing around Super Poly and yeah. then at the same time, cards you can Super Poly are still, um, they'll still trigger your opponent's effects, right? Now, the one thing you could argue is you can use Super Poly as a card to extend and also a card to like dodge things. But at the same time, I think I currently just want to test by bumping up these numbers because it's I think just, it makes sense. Yeah, because if if um everyone's on this now, I rather have my own Magnemite or um Druid's Worm to chain to it, just to assuming they have a monster field. Because you can banish your own, right? Okay, if they're yeah, gonna yeah. banish yours, you can banish your own just to get it. Okay, yeah, so it's like sense. it's like assuming they have a monster on field and they're using these as hand traps to stop my fusions, and I'm I'm going second. Then at that point, I'm just gonna banish my own. Uh, Merely to prevent this from hitting the board because this hitting the board is broken in this deck because it can search out your um Drew's Worm, uh, search your Distrudo, Distrudo, or even your Albion, yeah. So, and then in decks like Dragon Link, it's just it's just, it's just nuts, yeah. yeah. So, it's just like I do not want to give my opponent the opportunity to plus off cards like that, that makes sense, yeah. but yeah, uh, that's that's the deck profile. Um, I still need to test around with the ratios a lot. But you liked it today. Yeah, it, it was really nice. It was really nice. Um, I, I like the direction tier is going in with this. And I think the Brandon High Spirits is insane. Um, it's just a matter of like flushing out the combo lines now. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for the deck profile. Congratulations on going 401. I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't yeah, already. Make sure to like subscribe the videos. All right, there you go. And with that, Spanko and Rishon. Peace.